Hey tech fans, what's going on? Welcome back to another edition of Tech of Tomorrow. I'm Eric, your host, here once again with my special guest, Leon from Gigabyte, who's gonna show us their latest Z87N Wi-Fi motherboards. We're gonna bring you like guys basically the unboxing and the overview, and we're gonna get Leon to handle all the action because it's his motherboard. So Leon, you're on the floor. Drum roll, please. All right, guys. Here we have a Gigabyte Z87N Wi-Fi motherboard. This is a mini ITX. Does that mean it's small? It's small. It's smaller than small. Micro is micro ATX is small. This is smaller than small. Oh, smaller than your wanky. <laughs> <laughs> so what we have, we see we see the market trending over to mini ITX. So we pushed out mini ITX lines. We have the H87. This time we brought the Z87N Wi-Fi. As you can see, we actually include an 802.11 AC adapter. Now AC is the new standard for wireless. Exactly. Gigabit speeds, which is all five I, gigahertz speeds and higher, right? Right. So eight, I believe it's 867 megs a second or something. Yeah. Is that wireless end? Uh, hey, either way, it's going to be fast. It's fast. So <laughs> basically, you don't have to worry about getting Ethernet cable. You have a wireless installed already. All you have to do is get the drivers for it, and you're ready to go. So we're going to start off with a quick unboxing for you. So you have a, uh, so you have a look at this motherboard, and then we'll show you guys some shots of the box later, so you can see what you're getting. Right on. So let's go. Let's let's start taking it out. So. So I just want to point out that this time around with the wireless adapter that includes Bluetooth, we've actually shrunk down that module. So you're actually getting one single antenna for two things. What about near field? Does it have that as well? This one does not have any NFC. Um, okay. We don't see NFC as a big thing right now because um, of course it's well, with, it, with this, it's right. really not that big of a deal. With a phone, it's more important for than a, a motherboard, yeah. Right, so in the future, it might be something we might start implementing. If you guys wanna see it, definitely comment. Leave a comment, leave a comment down below saying, hey, we wanna see that on the motherboards and then Gigabyte will listen. Comment, message us on Facebook, that's always a good way to get our attention and we'll see that. Uh, Send a Shihad bomber, you yeah. know. <laughs> Just let them know. All right guys, so this is what you're gonna get when you purchase this box. You get all these extras, but- And a free box. And a free box. So Woo! again, uh, you get a multilingual installation guide, the motherboard manual, the driver disc that's included inside, a back IO shield. You get the Bluetooth and wireless antenna, which is built into one now. And you get two uh, SATA 3 cables. And the motherboard itself. And the motherboard itself. So boom. So now you guys can see the motherboard is completely inside of this completely sealed package, anti-static wrap. So we'll go ahead and we'll just go ahead and break the anti-static wrap on here. And we'll see, does that have that nice new car smell? Oh yeah, it has that nice new electronic smell, smell. Oh yep. yeah. I, I like that smell, I don't know I why. Do. I always grew up liking that electronic smell. So here's the motherboard. You guys can see it's actually pretty nicely laid out. Lots of room for your stuff. You have room for a full line video card if you want one slots for your memory, but I'm gonna hand it over here and let Leon explain all the features of this motherboard. So, all bang right. it out, man. So, this motherboard utilizes Intel's fourth gen processors, so any 1150 socket, LGA 1150 will fit in here. Uh, as long as you have the drivers, uh, sorry, as long as your BIOS works for it, then you're good to go. We have two DIMM slots for DDR3 memory, a PCI Express by 16. And what's the native memory speed right off the bat that supports? Does it support 2133, 1866? That would be under XMP, but for um, the native speed would still be 1600 off okay. of, Okay, but does it but does it allow XMP profiles? Yes, it okay. can and go up to XM, with XMP profiles. Very important. All right, so a uh, quick thing, uh, we have your standard ATX power, your four pin, AT, uh, four pin ATX power for your CPU. We have a four pin P, uh, PWM fan header here. We have your front panel connectors up here, and then we have USB 2.0 right here, I believe. And then USB 3.0 right, right here. Right, USB 3.0. Along with the, f the four additional SATA ports. Four SATA ports, you have your battery, the wireless card that we talked about earlier, and Bluetooth, so that's your AC. Moving on to the back, we have USB 2.0, a PS2, HDMI, and I believe that's two HDMI, and a DVI right there. And also your antenna connectors for your wireless and Bluetooth antenna. And the antennas are also inside the package as well, correct? The antenna is inside the package. So like we mentioned earlier, this antenna runs for both the Bluetooth and the wireless. So Excellent. versus having to have one antenna for each, you can now combine it, save some space, and it looks good also. 
Very clean. Yep. This is good. Now, what we're going to be doing with this motherboard is we keep trying to bring these steam systems to the table, but things keep changing all the dang time we're doing it. But now we're going to be doing this. We'll be building a full-on steam machine in conjunction with Gigabyte using this motherboard. So hopefully in the next week, you guys will see us as we get all those parts together and we'll bring that first video to you guys because this motherboard is actually perfect for this type of situation. It's small. It's elegant. It still has enough power under the hood to, you know, to have some cojones, but yet it's not going to be this giant thing in a giant case. So if you're somebody looking to build like an HTPC or you're doing like a steam box like we're doing, this is going to be the perfect type of solution for that. And the fact that you can actually put a full video card in it. I mean, I don't know if it's going to be able to take like the most giant 7 ATI, you know, or those giant video cards, but some of the newer video cards that are coming out from NVIDIA, especially the new 750 Ti that came out will fit in this thing amazingly. And with the power of that, you'll have a great little system that doesn't even need that much cooling in a small box. Right. And so just to finish this off, we have four USB 3.0s in the back and most importantly, two LAN NICs. Now, right are, now are these LAN NICs on here? Are they both shotgun cable? Do they work together? They can work together for teaming. Okay, Correct. perfect. All right. And then we have your regular audio. You have a SPDIF and then the five audio jack. So that's all I have, folks. Now this thing's very fall, <laughs> very fall. It's very fall. In the fall, when, the, when all the things are falling, this board matches them, no, I'm just kidding. But look, Z87N Wi-Fi. Small, economical, powerful, perfect for that little small build that you're looking to build for your personal system. Yeah, I'm not gonna well roll. said. All right then. Well, hey, I'm Elk for Tech of Tomorrow. This is Leon from Gigabyte. Leon, we thank you again for stopping by. And uh, we'll see you guys back here on Tech of Tomorrow very soon as we bring this board to you in a brand new system. Oh!